Close your eyes, watch your breath. And if you're going to talk to yourself about anything, talk to yourself about the breath. There's so much noise going around in the world, so many people talking at each other. Nobody's listening. They don't even listen to themselves. So try to listen to your mind. See what it's saying about the breath. See if it's even paying attention to the breath. If it isn't, try to get a sense that you're down in the body. Explore. What is it to have this body? What is it like right now to feel this? This sensation is going to go. It'll be replaced by another sensation, another sensation. Try to be with the sensations of the body as they come. And notice what influence you're having on them. This is why I say people don't listen to themselves. Sometimes you see a person going into a place and saying, gosh, everybody here is very tense. Well, they didn't realize that they brought the tension in with them. Wherever they go, they carry tension around. And it's the same with dealing with your sensations. You have certain preconceived notions about what should be there, what you like and what you don't like. And consciously or unconsciously, we make changes. So try to make some conscious good changes, and then check to see what the results are. If they're not good, well, you can try again. The Buddha says when the mind settles down, it should settle down with a sense of ease filling the whole body, a sense of fullness filling the whole body. How is that done? Now John Lee gives some good pointers on how to think of the breath energy spreading through the body. But it's up to each of us to figure out how it feels for us right now, and what's getting in the way. What's it, what in the mind is getting in the way, what in the body is getting in the way, and how we can clear those things away. And as the results get better, you notice that, well, that's called listening to yourself and taking yourself seriously. Otherwise we just make a few stabs and as if we're playing around, and as if we didn't really care. And yet our happiness is at stake here. Because here it is, your sense of the body as you feel from within. This is where you live your life. Even your home, you don't spend 24 hours in your home, but you do tw spend 24 hours in your skin. So try to make this a very livable skin to be in, a good skin to be in. That way, wherever you go, you're carrying a sense of well-being with you. And that can't help but have an effect on the people around you may not be able to solve a lot of problems, but it solves some. At the very least, you're responsible for the area where you are fully responsible. You're taking good care of business. So where does goodness come? It comes from within. And from within, once you develop it, then it spreads out. So get your body and mind on good terms with each other right now, and try to keep them on good terms. That way it would be a lot easier to be on good terms with the people around you.